je zoveel zon ziet, want je kent dat natuurlijk niet van afgelopen regenachtig jaar. Maar je denkt dan aan Griekenland misschien. Ik ben hier Panos tegengekomen op de Koishoen onderzaal. En uh, Panos, you're from Greece. Yes. Exactly. And I'm just asking, uh, I'm just telling everybody your first name because your last name is. Yes, Karastamadis. Karastamadis, something like that. Yes. So that's yes. why I left that one out because it's too difficult for me. Yes, yes. Sure. But um, you have. You you breed koi or sell koi or what do you do? I sell koi. I'm cooperating with Jeroen van Koelen, the farm oh, yeah. here in uh, Netherlands. Yes. And I have a, a shop uh, which I also sell uh, whatever it takes uh, to build the pond and uh, okay. food. I'm uh, cooperating with Takazumi. Okay. I'm, uh, official reseller. All right. And uh, Mountain Tree, the brand uh, yes. for uh, biological filtration, mechanical filtration. Also, I'm uh, selling uh, filtro drum uh, kits. Yes. Okay. Drum filters, and uh, many accessories from other. Uh, But when did you start the koi hobby? I started uh, actually three and a half years ago. Okay. In Greece, so I was a simple hobbyist. Yeah. Uh, which I like a lot the hobby and as I saw the opportunity in my country there were uh, two or three business already yeah oh there were okay because yes, they were there were koi shops in yes, Greece yes but they didn't have a, a Japanese koi yeah qualitative koi in uh, where in Greece do you live uh, in Athens in okay the city center but uh, okay that's big I have also my ponds in the uh, countryside 100 kilometers away from Athens Corinthos And you live there? Uh, I, I'm uh, moving 50% uh, oh, 50. Athens and Corinth. Okay. 50-50. So, okay. And um, how how big is the koi hobby in Greece? Uh, it's not so big. Uh, no? Uh, you know, as when I started... You're not was, the only one. Uh, now <laughs> I'm the only one. Are you the only business? Yes, the only business. I mean, how many hobbyists do you think Greece has? More than uh, 5,000. Uh, 5,000, yes. yes. Koi If, hobbyists? If you visit my Koi Elas uh, Facebook, Facebook page, yes. I have already 2,300 uh, visitors. Uh, yes, followers. Uh, followers, sorry. And uh, keep uh, rising more and more. Uh, yeah. uh, every day I have phone calls. Hello, I have a small pond. Oh. I want to, yeah. to fix it, to improve it, uh, okay. to buy Koi from you, food. Uh, So and you sell all this the the materials for making ponds. Do you also build ponds? Uh, no, I'm not having a construction uh, no. uh, area uh, department, but I'm uh, very helpful. I'm uh, consulting how. Oh, you're consult. Okay. So I sell also liners. Okay. And if they want to create concrete ponds. I provide them uh, okay. consultation. How warm does your water get in yes, Greece? Yes, that's another <laughs> issue. Uh, three years ago, when we had the outside temperature 48 degrees, uh, the water temperature was around 35. Whoa! And uh, it was very, let's say... Uh, you were changing anxious. water constantly? Yes, yeah. no, I, I was not changing. I had a lot of oxygenation. Oh, yeah? And my coil survived. Oh. I thought uh, that we wouldn't make it, but... No. In, is water expensive in Greece? Uh, yes, a little bit. And is the water quality okay for fish? No, it's very hard. For the fish, okay, but it's very hard. Okay. So we have some issues with uh, colors. Yes, 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 okay. Uh, with hard water. I think it promotes black colors, but... Uh, uh, Okay. Red uh, is not so good for red. But you also have fish here at the koi show. Yes, uh, this which, is. Which uh, ones do you? Have, which are these? All, all yours. All, all, all ours. And how are these? Okay. And uh, you bought these? Uh, uh, yes, from Jeroen. Jeroen van Keulen. Van Keulen, yes, and uh, already some of them are uh, sold to customers. Okay. From Greece. Oh. And uh, we have two winnings. Two wins uh, for our customers and two oh. for uh, those of which which, are, which ones are the prize winners? Uh, the prize winner is a uh, Ginsowa, a small Ginsowa. This yeah. uh, <coughs> Kujaku, yeah. which is uh, bred from uh, Jeroen. Oh, Jeroen. Yes, oh, Jeroen is very good at uh, breeding, uh, yeah. especially Kujakus. I trust him. There's the Doichu Sanke Doichu there. Sanke. And there's very small uh, Gin, Kin Ginrin Showa. Woo, that's a really small, uh, yes, size yes. one. Yes, yeah, size one. We have in size one, size three, okay, uh, two. And when? How are these going to 
get to Greece by yes, plane or by car? plane, by, by plane. plane. Yes. Okay. Uh, transport courts are very <laughs> expensive, yeah, but I bet. Uh, yes, I took the risk and uh, also a risk. Okay. Because, uh, yeah, I bet. Yes, it's it's not like Japan, but no. those fees are about around 12 to 18 hours in a, in yeah. a box. I know. So when I receive them, uh, I'm very curious, curious to see how, they, how it goes. If yes. they made it. Yes. So okay. Hey, well, thank you very much for telling us a little also. bit about the Koi Hobby in Greece. Thank you and very uh, much. success with the other prizes, maybe, for the Asagi or so? Yes, I hope so. All right. But, bye bye. Uh, oh, sorry. Bye bye. Thank you very <laughs> okay. Much. Bye bye.